We are back with our series, Modern Medicine, where we try to help you make healthier choices. Well, this morning, we're going to talk about a new diet that's gaining popularity, the winter blues, so much more. Here to help is NBC News medical contributor, Dr. Natalie Azar. Good, good to see morning. you, Dr. Natalie. That's such a good segment. All right. So, yeah. so salt. We tend to, you know, you go to restaurants, there's so much salt in. We're, we're eating a lot of salt. What's the it's deal? So good. With, with, yeah, it is. So it makes it <laughs> oh, food gosh, taste no. better. I am definitely eating. Everyone's eating too much salt, and we know that that isn't good, right? It increases the risk of hypertension and down the road cardiovascular disease. So what can you do every single day? Well, you can try to swap in what are called salt substitutes. Do you guys remember Mrs. Dash? Oh, yes. oh sure. Okay, good, because some people don't. I'm like, you're way young. Okay, so, so swap in salt substitutes. You can also use a potassium-based salt substitute. Uh, talk to your doctor beforehand, though, because just FYI, yep. potassium might not be great for everybody. Yep, yep. But you can also mix in your own spices and make something that doesn't include actually sodium chloride. Is this like salt you cook with, or is it sodium yeah. in no, right. packaged foods? It's in everything. If checking labels, right? That's like one of the biggest culprits, like like tomato sauce mm -hmm. and right like yeah I always just wonder you know like when that. you flip it back and it says you know whatever milligrams of sodium this yeah. is 68 percent of what you should have in the day I've always wondered is there like a a guide or something? Well, there is. So it's basically we're only supposed to have about a teaspoon, which is around 2,300 oh. milligrams. Wow. That's on you to start calculating. Yeah. But yeah. you're right. If it says 68% of your total, you basically run through most of that the day. with one meal. Opt for low sodium where you can on mm -hmm. those tomato, uh, you know, soup jars, etc. And skip the table salt. That's something you can really oh. control. No more yes, adding so this. Yeah. I know. It destroys me. By the way, <laughs> on the low sodium, I mm -hmm. find that when I do use it, you can't really tell the difference. And, but you yeah, get accustomed to it, more salt right? when I cook. You can get a accustomed to a low sodium I taste, agree. just like you get accustomed yeah. to having too much salt sure. all the time. Okay, yeah. so there's this new diet in town. It's called the Atlantic yes. diet. I've heard some people say it could rival the Mediterranean diet yes. or no? So the Atlantic diet is also like the Mediterranean diet okay. <clears throat> is named for where it comes from. This is from a, a northern Spain, Portugal. Oh. And listen, there's a lot of similarities to the Mediterranean diet. They are both really go for fresh, minimally processed foods. They prioritize fruit, vegetables, beans, olive oil, seafood, but as opposed to the Mediterranean diet, mm -hmm. they're a little bit more lenient on red meat and oh, wine. Yes. Yes. No, wait, and wait for it. Okay. Rice, pasta, bread, and potatoes. Wait a minute. Oh. I know. I mean, this, how amazing the is this? Diet. I, I, I read something like that, and I'm like, you know what? This is something that I can advise patients, mm -hmm. and it's something that I can incorporate, and it's kind of something so, I already do. Mm -hmm. And it also was shown to lower a lot of these metabolic risk factors, mm -hmm. like high triglycerides and obesity and hypertension and diabetes, so could really influence the risk of heart disease down the line. So does it limit what you have? But how, how does it work? How do it know? Well, how do it know? Now, you mean my portion? Yeah. Do you know that they actually have, the, the folks who are following this, diet actually have rice and pasta uh, like six to eight times a day almost at every meal mm -hmm. wow. but I, I, there, there must be something in the air in those different parts of the yeah. world okay. in spite of that but they also really promote all of these healthy things mm -hmm. just like the mediterranean Hi. diet let's talk yeah. about these two studies here that, that are out uh, okay. recently related to winter blues yes we're talking about something called smell therapy yes and something and also exercise, exercise. Mm. so i think we all have heard before that exercise can help with depression and this study actually showed that exercise Exercises like walking, jogging, yoga, and strength training, in some cases, was equally effective to actual medication wow. treatment. Wow. And so I think the message here is mm. that if you are feeling depressed, yes, you should see a therapist. Yes, you should consider medication, but also consider mm -hmm. starting to do these kinds of exercise. Was it dose dependent? Yeah. The more vigorously you exercise, the better you felt, but even a little bit made a difference. The scent thing is amazing. So here's this, this, this concept that people who are depressed have difficulty kind of getting back into old memories, autobiographical memories that make them happy. And they did a study and they found that if you gave people scents that triggered a positive memory, it helped them regulate their emotions and help I their mood. And scent worked better than a word cue. So what does that mean to me? It's like, well, let's say that you had a candle at a time in your life that made you happy. Mm -hmm. Smell that. Stay away from things that made you unhappy. Cigarette smoke, mm -hmm. um, you know, alcohol, things like that. But I just, I love this because this is the kind of thing that you can, these two things mm -hmm. you can do for yourself mm -hmm. in addition to having a therapist and in addition mm -hmm. to medication. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. by the way, because Craig we... Melvin, ahead of the curve, he's making candles now. Yes, he is. And you are. Yes. And um, yes. I have one burning right now up You're in my dressing room. That's dangerous. You I, I, was, I, I, was, I was just going to say I that, um, that I, I'm making them in part because I have found over the last probably year or two, I'm really into scent therapy. 
Like, yeah, there I, are. It yeah, nice yes. I know it's weird. You're like before the, like you're well, before they were solid. Yeah. I'm also a Luddite. But no, I love that. No, we agree. A, but there's something to it. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. meditative, get you it's one. relaxing. Thank there you go. Yeah. Just what the doctor ordered. There you go. Dr. And Natalie, you thanks so much. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.